Good morning and welcome back to another fascinating episode of Artisan Electrics. So I'm um, starting a new project today, which, well, it's quite a, a nice little project, quite an exciting little project. It's a Lutron smart lighting system, along with loads of other things. Basically, there's this lovely couple who have asked us to come in and carry on from where somebody else left off on this project. And it's a difficult one because I, first of all, I when people say, oh, the old electrician has um, gone AWOL and can you carry on? I'm always really hesitant. But I said to them that we're really busy, but I can come out and have a look at it for you. And if I think that we can fit it in in a couple of months time, then we will. So that's what I did a couple of months ago. And they were willing to wait. And when I saw the standard of the original installation that the previous electrician did, I realized quite quickly that he did know what he was doing. And what they said was he just was too busy to come back, basically. So some of the rooms have been done and others haven't. And basically, it's a really nice, beautiful sort of luxury apartment that they are completely renovating. And I mean, it's only five years old, but essentially they just want to make it their own and make it really, really nice inside. So they've been doing loads of carpentry work, having loads of kind of the bathroom, having the bathrooms all done, having um, all, you know, decorating done, alterations in various rooms. And it's quite interesting because the ground floor is, it's a, it's a penthouse apartment, but it's two stories, like a duplex apartment. So the ground floor is where the bedrooms and bathrooms are, and then the top floor is actually where the living room is. So it's kind of like inverted compared to a normal house. But it's a really nice apartment. And what we're doing is installing Lutron Smart Lighting, the RA2 select system in every room. And we've got like, some rooms have got like 10 zones of lighting almost. Um, so we're putting in these really nice down lights as well um which i've never really used before but they look really really nice they're a little bit fiddly to install but they do look really nice so that's quite cool um what else are we working on um heat miser systems for the underfloor heating so they've got electric underfloor heating in the bathrooms and they've got um heated electric towel rails in the bathrooms as well so we're using a heat miser smart thermostat for each of the towel rails and underfloor heating systems and then we're putting bespoke led under like strip lighting under all the cabinets in the bathrooms um, we're putting it in in the utility room as well under the under the cabinet for the utility room loads of stuff it's going to be quite a lot of work this project really so i'm busy beavering away today kind of getting my head around everything and then I'm going to get some of the other guys in to help out. And we're going to be busy on this until we finish it, basically. It's one of those kind of how long is a piece of string jobs. So I've just said to the customer, I'll just do it on a day rate. And because they keep adding and they, they keep adding stuff and they're also not sure exactly what they want yet. So it's kind of going to evolve a little bit as it goes. I mean, they've already been renovating this place for like the last year. <laughs> it's one of those never ending projects, really. And they're quite perfectionist, so they want everything absolutely spot on, which I love. That's my kind of customer. And it means we can just take our time. They're not so worried about how much it costs. They're just worried about the result and we can do a really nice job. So looking forward to this project, I'll jump in and show you around a little bit if I can. And as always, if you enjoy my video, smash the thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's get into it. So this is the first room we're working in and basically what I'm busy with at the moment. It used to be a smart lighting system in here, but I think it was one of the Legrand ones. So they had a main panel by the consumer unit and then all the switched feeds came out from that to the various sets of lights. So in this room, we've got two zones at the moment, but actually uh, we're installing five zones of lighting in here. So this is one of the zones that comes in. So I'm gonna connect this as a permanent feed and then use this to distribute the permanent live to the Lutron controllers. So we've got two down lights here, which are gonna be angled to shine light into the wardrobes. They're gonna be on their own zone. Then this chandelier is gonna be on its own zone. 
Um, that's an old lighting point where we had a feed coming to, so I've extended the feed from there across to this down light because this position is going to stay. So we've got a feed coming in there as well, and then that's going to be split out into three zones. I, th I think it's three, two or three. Yeah, maybe two. Uh, one is going to do these wall lights. So we've wired up these three wall lights yesterday, um, and basically these are the fittings that are going to go on there. And then the ceiling lights, those two are going to stay, but we're putting in new light fittings. And then these two above the bed are going to go, so I've got to disconnect the old wiring and put in new wiring for all those. So it's really kind of, it's almost like rewiring the whole place really. We're just using the, the existing feeds um, that are coming in. These are the Lutron dimmers. So it's the Lutron RA2 select system and it's just so easy to work with, it's brilliant. You basically just got live and neutral in, live and neutral out. There is an earth terminal in them as well. And then you just press the button and program them. And you can program them in the app but also you can program them to other devices as well, like the little Pico switches. So, for example, this is one of the Pico switches. And you can, they're just wireless, they've just got battery. You can fit them anywhere. So they're really, really useful. And they've got you know various different buttons that you can press on them and stuff to control different scenes of lighting. So you can program like a whole five different sets of lights to come on to a certain dimming level. It's very, very flexible system, so it's really, really nice. So that's this room. Let me show you some of the other stuff that we're gonna do. So here is um, en suite. It's still in renovation, but we're gonna be putting, there's already ceiling lights in here. There's a lot of ceiling lights, as you can see, and they're already installed on various zones. And there's these LED lights above the shower, above these mirrored kind of glass tiles but all this cabinetry is still to be built. So we've got to put LED strip lighting in all the cabinetry and plinth, like two sets of lights under here. One is like a night light, so it's gonna be very dim just for when they get up in the night to go to the loo. And then the other one is gonna be a bright LED strip, Collingwood LED strip. We've got this to wire up, which is just a electric towel rail. So that just needs a flex outlet putting on there. There's, LED, there's cables in place here for LED strip that's going to go into this cabinet and there's another cable in place behind here for a shaver socket which we've got to put in. And then here is where the heat misers are going to go. So we've got two heat misers, one for the underfloor heating and one for the towel rail. And then this will be just two switch fuse connection units, got the MK ones to go on there. And then in this room we've got I think sort of like eight zones of lighting to go in here because there's gonna be a dresser there which is gonna have its own lights, LED lights above and below and all over the place. And then loads of ceiling lights to change in here. This is just the existing lighting which we've got to rip out and then wire in loads of new lights, including new lights to go above these wardrobes. Um, and then we've got some alterations to do to the sockets as well, to put in some extra sockets, get rid of some sockets. Uh, bits and pieces so busy so the current setup here is that you've got these connection boxes just temporarily running everything with all the feeds out uh, distribution board is under here it's an all rcbo distribution board but basically all these are going to be connected up as permanent lives going out to the various zones i think there's probably two lighting circuits in total it's all led so there's not going to be any heavy loads on there anyway um, but it all needs kind of sorting out and then stuff like this this light fitting needs sorting out that's a doorbell which we need to sort out we need to put lighting in here we're going to put emergency light in next to the consumer unit um, these are the pico switches so how they work is you just press the button and they come on. We've got a shelf to go in here with some LED strip lights under there. We've got a towel rail to connect in there with a flex outlet. Then we've got a shaver socket to go in here and two sets of lights to go under here, as well as all the connections for the underfloor heating, 
which are going to be connected back through these twin and earth cables. So here in the utility room we've got the controls for the heat misers and the two switch through spares for them. And then we've got a load of alterations to do in here for wiring up a spare for that, wiring up a spare for that, LED lights under here. So I'm just going to get started and wire up these Lutron controls for these ones. So these Lutron controllers, they have a basically an in and an out. So the in is the L and the out is this dimmed signal and then you've got neutral neutral CPC CPC. It's very easy to connect. So I'm going to prepare the feeds in already and um, the feeds out then I can just wire in directly up on the ceiling. So this end is going to go into a Wargo box connected with the other permanent feeds and then the outgoing to the lights will be connected in the outgoing side of this and then we wire up the lights, simple as that. And this is the pairing button so you just press and hold that, it starts flashing and then it appears in the app and you pair it up. Right, so we've got these ready to go uh, and the main feed there. So all we've got to do is connect these three together in a Wargo box. And then these are the lights that are in. These are the, um, I can't remember, I can never remember what they're called. Um, Astro lighting fittings. And they're sort of a 25 degree angle. And as you can see, they fit really neatly into the ceiling. They're very kind of smart looking and discreet. So these are just going to angle light into the cupboards so that they can see what's going on in the cupboards when they open them. And then the chandelier is connected up as well so we can get that going. Right, so we're uh, done in this room. Everything's working. I managed to get this connected up these two lights are in and I think they look pretty smart to be honest and um, those three so we've got those three here are on their own zone the cables are in for the wall lights so they just need second fixing once the room's been plastered and decorated this is on its own zone and then those two for the wardrobes are on their own zone and at some point I think we're going to have to put a light down in this cupboard as well like an LED strip along here it's just sort of a storage cupboard but they want some LED strip lighting along there and also down in this cupboard here so plenty to be getting on with but what I'm doing now is doing these heat miser thermostats so I've just got this one on this is the underfloor heating we've got another one to go on here for the towel rail and we've got two switch fuse connection units down there one for each but he's also asked me to put a double socket below those as well. So I've got to chop in a box and put a double socket box in there. And then in this bathroom, I've just got to put a flex outlet on here. And then this towel rail will be working and we can get the underfloor heating working because they, it's getting cold now as it's getting to winter. So they want some heating on. So with these heat miser thermostats, they're really easy to connect. You just got live and neutral in, live and neutral load. And then you've got three terminals for a, um, what do you call it, a remote temperature sensor, two. So you can have an air temperature sensor and a floor temperature sensor if you want. Uh, in this case, because it's for the towel rail, there's no temperature sensor for it. It's literally just controlling it on and off. But the one for the underfloor heating, we had a floor probe that we've connected in with that so that they can measure the temperature of the floor. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this connected up. So one of the nice 
nice things about these is the fact that they do fit onto a jewel box like that. So they fit snugly side by side onto a normal jewel box and the, the screw widths are designed to just fit on a normal back box, which not all underfloor heating thermosets do, so that's quite nice. Well, this is all good fun, really, tracing all these existing cables. So we've got here, same setup as the other bathroom, but this is the utility room because there's no space. Uh, th this other bathroom is, is in the hallway. So there's nowhere nice to put these switcheries, connection units and, and controllers. So what we're doing is putting them in, in the underfloor, in the um, utility cupboard instead, in this boxing. And all the cabling's here. So we've got a ring here, then we've got underfloor mat, so that will go. And then we'll do a joint in the bathroom to connect onto the underfloor heating mat. Then this one is the towel rail. So we'll connect that to the heat miser for the towel rail. And then this one is the probe for the mat. So we've got to extend the cable for the probe from the bathroom under here. Under here, you've got the underfloor heating cables coming up and then we've got to extend these over to those boxes. So this one is for the probe and this one is for the underfloor heating mat. And then we've got two lighting cables, which I've got to figure out where they go back to, because these are going to be powering two sets of lights under here, one for a bright LED light and another one for a very dim night light.